Anyway, so let's try it in another key and I'll test you on it. So let's do it with a key of, uh, um, key of B. So we got a B chord. What pentatonic do we play? B7. Yeah, B minor pentatonic. We probably want to sharp raise those thirds. Probably. So. Then we're going to have an E13. Yeah, he does too. So what do you play here? Yeah, A flat minor pentatonic. And what do we do with it? Flat to five, yeah. Play that A flat. I uh, hope I said that before. A flat minor pentatonic flat in the five. Uh oh. Try again. So fourth fret, seventh fret, fourth fret. Go ahead and play the whole thing. I think you might be skipping a, let's walk through together. Fourth fret, seventh fret, and then fourth fret, fifth fret, and then fourth fret, sixth fret, and then fourth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, and then the B string is just seventh fret, and then the high E is four, seven. Okay, so then we go back to the B7. What do you play? B minor pentatonic, yeah. We don't have to start from the third, but if we, if we want to be consonant with the chord, we'll want to bend our pentatonic, our flat third, up to the major third. Okay, then we go to an F sharp seven chord. What do we play? Or F sharp thirteen. B flat minor pentatonic. What? Flat to five, exactly. Go ahead and play that. Oop. Let's walk through it just to be sure. So uh, it's going to be six nine, six seven, six eight, six eight nine. B string is going to be just the ninth fret, and the high E is going to be six nine. By the way, you could play that. You could play that whenever you play <clears throat> uh, from the root as well. So anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. So then we get, then we're gonna go from the F sharp seven down to the uh, E seven or E thirteen. What do you play there? Yep. 
And then we go to the B minor pentatonic or B seven chord, where we obviously play from the root again. And then, um, then we have F sharp altered, the five to one. What do we do there? Yep. We go to the four. Well, we're starting from the four. We know a four is going to be kind of harsh, especially over an altered chord. Flat the root of the pentatonic. The root, yeah. So you got B minor pentatonic, we're going to flat the root of the pentatonic. All right, so um, doing the same thing here in B, we had B7, where we play a B minor pentonic. Then we have E7, E13, where we play uh, A flat, and we flat the fifth of the pentonic. And then we go back to the B7, where we play our B minor again. Then we have F sharp. Uh, it's going to be non-functioning, so we play uh, B flat and we flat the fifth. All right, over. And then we've got an E7. So we do the uh, the same thing we just did for the F sharp, except down two frets. It's an A flat minor pentatonic, flatting the fifth of the pentatonic. Then we go back to the B. But it, it sounds unique, is what it sounds. So when you hear it, you can hear it. You hear the trick. You hear the thing happen. You know, like especially the, at first. You know, and you have to kind of disguise it to make it sound like it just kind of came in and happened, as opposed to something that you pulled out of the closet and put and wore today. You know, so. So it's like if you're playing like this, I mean, everything is kind of like that, though. I mean, like if, if, if we hear this chord and you go, you know, like I'd be pretty hard pressed to do that on one of my albums just because it's so cliche. I mean, maybe I will in the future if I learn to lighten up, which I'm work. Maybe I'll work on that. Maybe. So if I do, then I can play, you know, and then the next one, if I do, the, if I go. You know, like, I can't do that. I mean, I could. It sounds cool, <laughs> even though it's just going up the scale. But, like, really remember that you're playing not over an, an A flat chord or a G sharp chord or whatever. You're playing over an E chord. Right? And you can remember that. Throwing that into your scale will help kind of keep grasp of the tonality, especially if you're not playing with a rhythm. You know, you're not playing with a bass player who's going... Or a guitar is going... Or a piano player who's playing all kinds of crazy stuff. They'd be kind of good. You can go. You're playing this, right? If if you kind of keep grasp of this, that's your root. You really need to hear that. So if I were playing again, same thing. And then I go. You know, I just played this. But I threw that the root in. 